Well, that's where the extra noise is coming from. What's up, y'all? Welcome to a uh, special uh, Sunday night sesh. Because I didn't do Friday because I've just been dealing with bullshit. Uh, I found out that uh, one of my uh, best friends in the world is currently uh, been diagnosed with cancer. So, fuck cancer. <sighs> Life. It's relentless. It's a relentless fucking dick punch. Uh, so, welcome aboard. Why is it clipping? Why are we clipping? What's the Clipposaurus Rexages? Uh, why are we clipping? What is this clipping sound all about? I don't know what the clipping is about. Let's turn it down over here. Maybe turn it up over here. No, that's still doing it. I don't know. Does it, uh, it, was, it wasn't doing that prior. Now it's doing it. That's just how it goes. Uh, all right, of course, we are doing, um, oh, oh, Julia Casablanca, uh, yeah, um, all right, I just, uh, I guess I won't be that loud, well, I'm not really that loud to begin with, I'm going to try to keep it very fucking, you know, try to keep it on the DL here, the, the sessions. Uh, so welcome aboard, everybody. We're going to do some 90s. Seems to test well with the audience, as they say in the beeswax. Uh, Cherub Rock from 1993s. I mean, well, then goodbye, Sirius X fan. It's going to be really a bummer to miss you. Uh, it's not clipping now. So if it's clipping, it's clipping on your end, not on my end. So, bye. Um, 1993. It's amazing to me that this record was 1993, and then it was. I was. I was on the air in 1997, and then it was still. We were still playing the shit out of it, and then they put out the fucking infinite sadness fucking thing, whatever that was. Flimity flim and the flimity flim flim flims, and uh, then I had to play 1979 a lot. Uh, Siamese Dream sold 6 million copies worldwide. That's a lot of records. Produced by the great Butch Vig. We've heard his work previously on the session with such great hits as, um, you know, Nirvana. Uh, yeah, this is the second session of this because we haven't done it in stereo and these guitars deserve to be heard in stereo. Uh, it's their second album. The band had decamped to Georgia so as to be disconnected from their friends and cut Jimmy, Jimmy Chamberlain, uh, off from his drug dealer. Uh, the recordings were 12 to 14 hours a day, six days a week. That's a lot of fucking work. Um, after suffering a nervous breakdown, Corgan started to go to a therapist and his lyrics became more personal and explicit. Uh, the band's relationships were sprained. Listen to this. Trying to make a. This is like the. Um, this is like the, uh, the 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 rumors of of the uh, meaning sweet. You know the the. the oh God, my brain is flying. The Fleetwood Mac rumors of uh, of grunge, because uh, you've got uh, Jimmy Chamberlain disappearing for days to go and do drugs. Darcy locking herself in the bathroom and not talking to anybody. And uh, Corgan planning on killing himself when the record was done. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Good Lord. Eventually the record went $250,000 over budget. $250,000 over budget, people. $250,000 over budget. I, I can't imagine that Gish cost even a fraction of $250,000, let, let alone going over budget. The song itself is Corgan's view on his relationship with the indie rock scene. And the, uh, the solo was two different takes, with one being run at a slightly different speed. The mix on this record was done by the great Alan Mulder, who has done such amazing records as... The Killers, and many, many others. Uh, how do you go $250,000 over budget? Well, if you're in a recording studio that's charging you four grand a day, which is probably, you know, two to four grand a day plus, it's very easy to go over budget when you, uh, you know, work 12 to 14 hours a day, six days a week. Plus snacks. It's very true. 
Uh, Alan Mulder mixed it. He scheduled two weeks. Well, this is also how it goes over budget. He scheduled two weeks to mix the record, and instead it took 36 days. Because don't forget, as we found out uh, on uh, some of the earlier Smashing Pumpkin sessions, um, there's like 60 guitar tracks in some of these songs. So... I mean, I think it was uh, Siamese Dream, uh, the, you know, what the the, uh, the Today song, whatever, had like fucking <laughs> anyone who wants to use my recording studio for two to four K a day, you got it. On drums, a badass. Glad, glad he got clean before it becomes an end. This guy, JC. I think Alan Mulder might have done some uh, My Bloody Valentine, did he? Here he comes. Ray's organic. There's no sound replacer happening here. It owes you money to the chorus. No, we would never be able to do a My Bloody Valentine song because it would mean having My Bloody Valentine uh, stems, and those do not exist anywhere in the world other than Kevin Shields. Impossible. Yeah, Alan Mould is one of my favorite of all time. All right, so we'll go to the bridge. We got some of this action. Oof. Oh, a little Jimmy Chamberlain yelling. Oh, and really... He's not hitting the, this is the crazy thing, is he's not hitting the snare that hard here. Who do you think he is? And then when he gets to the flams at the end, our boy fucking launches into it. And he's doing a fucking, ah, 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 you can hear him. Right? Smashy bashy all the way through, and at the ending. China crash exemption handed, and don't forget, he's experiencing uh, problems with drugs at this point. Man, he's fucking yelling all over this shit. He's yelling all over it. You can hear, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oof, I like that. Right? And then this at the ending. China Crash Exemption handed. Well done. Story just... Uh, mm, 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 mm. Bleddy, 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 bleddy
Darcy is credited with playing bass on this, but it's quite possible that uh, it was actually played by Billy because Darcy uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't come out of the shower or the bathroom. Uh, so yes, credited to uh, Jimmy Chamberlain gets the BWCCE, the Boris Williams China Crash Exemption. Well done. Oh boy. We're in with the cables, yo. We're in with the cables, everybody. She said, smiling. She's always smiling about the bridges. Let's put this engine room together and work it out. I think it's going to be, I think it was just talking, uh, basically, it's a Ford Econoliner. 12-packer, for sure. is fucking juicy man jimmy chamberlain's fucking playing is bonkers good bonkers good metal snare is fuck love son of yeah it's definitely a fish bulb this is uh this is a pick your fingers would have to be Devastating, if you know what I'm saying, everybody. Devastating. Okay. 
can't tell you anything about the bassist because the bassist could have been Darcy, but she uh, was locked in the bathroom a lot while they were uh, sessioning. So it's quite possible that Billy Corgan is, in fact, the one who played the bass. And that kick drum and that bass is linked gorgeously. Tasteful usage of the China Crash. Ooh, da 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 da, blown, blown. Ooh, man, that is nice. If you, there's a nuance here, folks. You can hear the. It gets louder with the bass drum. That's that's some. That might be. I think we have a new award. I think that. That uh, that might be the single greatest China Crash usage we've ever heard. Fantastic. That's the uh, BW... Uh, that's the Boris Williams... Uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. That's the uh, the the Boris Williams Lifetime Achievement Award. The BW Lifetime Achievement Award. B D B W L A A. No, the BW China Crash Lifetime Achievement Award. Does that last forever? Fantastic work, Jim Fucking Chamberlain. The BWCC. The BWCC L A A. Very good. These fills are fucking tremendous. Now, the reason it's a 15-packer van is because that's what they would have been on tour in, see? This bit. And ending on the China Crash, well done. All right, before we get to James Eha's performance on the guitar department, that may also be uh, our man Billy Corgan. Uh, James has put out a couple of solo records. What's annoying is that the first one is not on uh, the 
uh, is not on fucking iTunes. I gotta check tomorrow when I come to do my uh, my show on the old the old Amp Network. But the first one um, is you know a uh, it's like Al Stewart's Year of the Cat. Um, it's a fantastic record, and yeah, I got it on CD as well, Matt Capper. But it's uh, it, it's not in iTunes. The only one they have is a later one, which is uh, you know. This, which is beautiful, don't get me wrong. I love, is it The Sound of Love? Is that the name of it? Let It Come Down. That's what I thought it was called. Let It Come Down is the first one, which is has like the yellow cover on it. But the, uh, the, 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 they don't have, yeah, they don't have the, um, all they have is look into the, look to the sky, which is, you know, Good, don't get me wrong, but it's the latter, the latter thing. But this is what James Eha of the, uh, this is what James Eha of the Smashing Pumpkins sounds like when he makes his music. I don't know which way to go. Don't know where you've been You got close to the sun And everything begins to spin around you Looking back on yesteryear You see every steeple pine Every loss and every hope Every thought magnified and you, you need, you long to be safe. Dream tonight. Everything within you begins to breathe Tell me please Burn to bright The drifting out of sight Rushing headlong down the to the great unknown I see a face coming through I know you'll make it soon Shadows running down the hall But we could run right through a wall I feel a chill in the air The moon and rain don't compare to you You'll see You're almost free Gorgeous. This little thing at the end here. James Eha. You can get this on iTunes. It probably is streaming on all streaming services. I'm sure that my boss Jeff Bezos has uh I 
Don't know which way to go. Don't know which way to go. Don't know where you've been. You got close to the sun, and everything begins to spin around you. Nick Drake as fuck. Looking back on yesteryear, you see every steeple climb, every loss and every hope, every thought magnified, and you, you need, you long to be sing Dream tonight. I can never sing this low. Dream tonight. I can't get down there. Dream tonight. It's made, it's made way more bass. So that's a good point. And Nico would would uh, would nail this. This bit. Yeah, just because you can sing down there doesn't mean you can support down there, folks. So that's that's what James E. Haw, the guitar player for the Smashing Pumpkins, sounds like when he does solo records. I urge you to check out that one's called "Look to the Sky." That came out in uh, 2012. But he put one out in uh, 14 years prior to that, whatever that was, 1998, uh, which is, you know, not it's, it's actually not as pastoral as that one is. It's a, it's slightly more restrained, uh, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, I like I like both records, uh, but the only one available on the tunes of the eye is uh, is uh, Look to the Sky. And that song is called Dream Tonight. Dream Tonight. Gorgeous. All right. I just thought we'd uh, take a little side trip to introduce you all to some James Eha. Pretty. Pretty chick. Uh, all right. Guitars. Sure. Though it could also be Billy. Or it could be Billy and James. Either way, Alan Mulder took 36 days to make to mix this fucking record. Bring on the big muff, she said smiling. I mean, I gotta say it. It's uh, yeah. There's a, there's more than a, a, a little bit of the old "My Bloody Valentine," but I'll tell you this much: as far as riffs go, that are you know epically not guitar riffs, but are nonetheless sick guitar riffs. It's Billy Corgan for the win. God, you can you can just <laughs> you can just hear what a fucking nightmare mixing this record must have been. Holy shit! There's so many frequencies that are fighting each other. And then that shit where it goes from what was you thought was the biggest guitar sound to the biggest guitar sound.
<laughs> God damn it. I, I mean, I, I make records and I have no idea how they did this. I like that. We'll, when we throw the vocal in, you'll hear it. That the the chorus starts with the smaller. And then gets bigger. I mean, it's just this so it's his command of melody is really quite something. There's like a, if you left, left headphone. Wow. Left hand, left hand headphone. You can, uh, you can hear that there's a, like a, a, a warbly, super fucking distorted tremolo thing happening that is just adding so much movement Right there. Wow. And then, you know, like, look, look what happens. Guitars gets bigger, gets bigger, and then it gets bigger again, she said, smiling during this bit. I mean, just fucking bonkers. All right, so out of that, we're going to go directly into the uh, guitar solo, which is two different takes with one being run at slightly different speeds than the original one. That's stupid.
So it's the uh with the octave the octave up and above uh, uh, one up and one down. Mark Solo 2, please hold. Lead 2, of course, because if you've got one, I don't have two. No, I need to get rid of the little thing, but my OCD will not allow that to occur. Boom. <laughs> All right, so let's now put in the uh, the other guitar track together so you can see just what a fucking miserable time of it poor Alan Mulder had. So fucking good. How about some of that? Let's put that with the bass and the drums. Just have that play on its own for a second. Damn it. 
And then Alan Mulder was like, okay, cool, I got it, I've got it, I've got it. And then somebody was like, have you listened to the ending yet? Oh, the ending. That fucking ending sound as the as the whatever it is deteriorates. Like the fucking the the bit crusher. That means that that sound was happening the whole time buried in those guitars. That's what I mean. Fucking Alan Mulder is like this fucking record took fucking years off of his life. Poor son of a bitch. Ludicrous. All right, so I'm also, I'm gonna so we got a little Silver Suns pickups uh, uh, on the uh, talk in the chat. I'm gonna so for many years I used to host um, Swedish Eagles. Uh, Christmas party here in LA uh, until I got uh, got into a fight with the owner of one of the venues and uh, and thrown out. So, uh, oh, nice. Let's get those Steelopus. Have a have a chat with Dimitri. So uh, one year, uh, a, a DJ by the name of Linwood was playing, and uh, he played this fucking song. And I went up to him and I was like, "Dude, this is the greatest shit I've ever heard. And that bass drum is the greatest bass drum I've ever heard. I've ripped this bass drum off." A million fucking times because it's one of the sickest bass drums I've ever heard. And this remix is fucking batshit. See you at the trash fence. Put your headphones on. Can't wait for this to blow everybody's minds. The build is fucking exceptional.
system this kick drum just is unfucking believable man because first off it's got this there's a there's a sample click on it that cuts through everything here the, the sample click is like at the end of each click at the end of each kick. So imagine this horrendously loud, like horrendously loud at a fucking club and everyone's fucking vibing. Everyone's so focused, clear. And you're like, all right, it's dope. Loud as fuck, eating my balls off. So and high. And you're vibing. Shine. And then this bit. Everyone so intimately rearranged. Everyone so focused clearly with such shine. But then suddenly start having somebody yelling at you. Everyone so intimately rearranged. Was it insane. Everyone so focused this clearly was just shine Lost and loaded The crowd was like what the fuck is Still happening the same old things with you back through your gates That's why I said I believe I said we really let it so far to relate 
woof. I'm telling you right now. I, fu- I fucking looked at Linwood and I was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? This is insane. He was like, right, man, I'm sorry. He, and he literally just finished it. It hadn't, he, he played it off of a, um, he played it off of a fucking CD. He was like, it didn't, it was a fucking, like, with Sharpie written on it. And I was like, bro, you got to send it to me. And he emailed me the, the mix the next day. And as I say, I've used that fucking kick drum in everything. I used it in the, uh, the In Your Eyes remix, which I really must finish. Uh, yeah, I believe that you can find that on the... Uh, is that a, is that a, a remix playlist, uh, Stelopus, uh, or something? Sunshine. So fucking good. So fucking good. All right, before we get over to the... Uh, I just want to see something. I want to see what happens if we take the guitars on Cherub Rock and we just douse them in tons of reverb. Do we end up with a My Bloody Valentine record? <laughs> Let's just see what happens. It'll probably be a large... Maybe we should do two of them. Let's just see if we get a, if we get a fucking... Yeah, we do. Let's take one off. No, no, it needs two. You can actually hear that. Um, you can always do three. We can always do three. Let's not forget. Kevin's a big fan of everything verb to death. Uh, uh, man, he almost bankrupted Creation Records, who were putting out the record. Um, and uh, he almost bankrupted them because he, um, he uh, was in a studio and he could hear a, a buzzing in the walls. So he had the entire studio ripped down to the fucking studs in order to find it and uh, never did. There we go. Now we're getting there. It's funny. You can hear how much, uh, how much tremolo is now happening. And now we get somewhere. <laughs> the, the. Oh, those gray chairs, those gray chairs were a gift from a friend. I don't know where they got them from. But that, that's about right. But anyway, I, uh, I, digr- I digress horribly. Uh, a guy I know is a uh, is a mixer and he's very very good and he actually was invited by Kevin Shields to come and work with him at his house, I believe it's in Wales, uh, and he went and they ended up working for like nine months and didn't uh, they didn't come out with anything, 
didn't finish a fucking thing. <laughs> he was like, yeah, man, I, I got to go, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, I got to go. I got to go. All right, let's do this. Let's do guitars and bass so we can hear all of the interlocking melodies, probably all played by Billy Corgan.
After this recording, the uh, price of a Big Muff uh, tripled. Yeah, I just uh, just took both of mine down to to my new place. I mean, MVP on this track is without a doubt Alan fucking Mulder. Jesus Christmas cakes to have battled all of that. When I went to college, there was a, a venue in Porchester called The Beat, which was like a, a club like four times, like my, my apartment, maybe six times, maybe. It was tiny. And uh, I remember uh, I didn't go. Two shows I didn't go to were uh, Nirvana doing Bleach and uh, Smashing Pumpkins doing Gish. Didn't go. Got invited because I was I worked at the radio station and they were like, "Hey man, you should come down and check this out. It's fucking this band's gonna fucking uh, nice." Alan Mulder won the MVP the first time we did it. Yeah, I mean in stereo, you got it's even more fucking ridiculous, right? Like you hear it and you're just fucking blown away by the his ability to. Uh, SM7 we through a fishbulb 2000 with some um, some tracking notes. Uh, SM7B through an API pre and a Summit TLA A100 for the vocals. Yep, makes sense. The SM7B, I have one. It is great. Uh, I go through a Brent Avril uh, API myself, um, so I get it. But I don't, uh, and I don't use a uh, Summit TLA100. Uh, I just go straight. I go through a distressor. That's my my vocal chain if anyone in the room is nerdy and wants to know sm7b into a uh into a uh, uh api preamp well brent avril and then uh from the uh, brent avril into the uh distressor settings i use uh i use a six to one input usually at a six attack is usually at a two five to a three releases at a two five and then output to taste uh, uh, I don't use any filters on the SM7B. Find I don't need to. I uh, I just uh, prefer to track them flat and then work inside the box. Uh, there's two there's two approaches to uh, to tracking. There's the English approach and the American approach. The English approach is to uh, record it and then fuck with it. The American is to track it uh, the way you want it to stay. So um, SM7B with a cloud lifter is great, man. It's great. You know, for a while there, I was making records, and uh, I was getting, you know, I was making, I was making records that were going on the old, uh, you know, getting getting major label stuff. So I had to, uh, had to get some gear. All right, so we will now uh, check out William Corgan, young man on vocals, angry young chap, who, uh, according to my notes. Planned on killing himself when the record was done. I guess, uh, I guess he didn't do that. He's still with us. So, uh, out of respect, this song did pass the uh, bald gray whistle test. Um, so, we will now listen to Billy Corgan tell us the dulcet, the dulcet tones of Billy Corgan telling us a song, or singing a song about his view on his relationship with the indie rock scene. Savage. Cherub Rock, let's not forget, is the name of the song. Freak out. Give in. Doesn't matter what you believe in. Stay cool. And be somebody's fool this year. Cause they know. Who is righteous, what is bold? So I'm told Who else? Honey As long as there's some money Who wants that honey? Oh Unite Come alive for the big fight To rock for you Beware All those angels with their wings Glued on Cause deep down They are frightened and they're scared If you don't 
I'm still Who else I need As long as I have some money Who wants that honey Let me out Yeah Let me out yeah, let me out. Yeah, let me out. Tell me all of your secrets. Can I help but believe this is true? Tell me all of your secrets I know, I know, I know Should have listened when I told Who wants that honey As long as there's some money Let me hear you say Who wants that honey Let me out yeah, let me out. Yeah, let me out. Yeah, let me out. Savage. Savage. Let me Interesting, there seems to be a harmonizer running here. Let me out! His presentation is singular to Mr. William Corgan. There's nobody else sounds like this fucking guy, other than the dude in Silver Sun pickups who's trying to sound. Freak out and give in. Doesn't matter what you believe in. Stay cool and be somebody. I like how in between we can hear there's like six different headphone bleeds. <laughs> They're all sort of swimming around because we can hear every take. There's one to the left, one to the right, two down the middle, four in the back. Biting. Biting commentary on the scene. Freak out and get double tracked M. Brooks. It's beyond double tracked. It's fucking five million tracked. Freak out and give in. Doesn't matter what you believe in. Stay cool. And be somebody's fool this year Cause they know Who is righteous, what is bold They go into that vocal So I'm told Who else Honey Slow Yeah, the lower harmony that's happening Honey Slow Yes, yeah, there's some Money Who wants that honey? Ow. Ow. This is interesting. The first lyrics of verse two are just Ow. Ow. more on the left with the more on the more on the right than the left. Hipsters. And then this this fucking hipsters line. Hipsters Unite Come alive for the big fight To rock for you Yeah, and like all these this patchwork quilt of these different uh, takes These different voices Come alive for the Like his different presentations Come alive for the big fight To rock for you Beware For you Come alive for the big fight To rock for you beware all those angels with their wings 
wonder who he's talking about. All those angels with their wings glued on. Cause deep down, they are frightened and they're scared. If you don't stand, who wants? Like this part, when the, when the who wants, there's he's doing all of the presentations in one. Yeah, I don't think James E. Hall was allowed to sing on a Billy Corgan song, I'll be honest with you. He wasn't allowed to play guitar. <laughs> Fucking. They are frightened and they're scared. If you don't stand, who else honey, as long as he has some- Yeah, he's, but he's... He's de- he's referencing somebody. You don't think of the, the image of an angel with the wings glued on. There's there's something going on there. As long as he has some money, who wants that honey? Nee. There's all these. Money. Like that's really. Who wants that honey? The split. Let me out. It's total fucking. Yeah. Axel Rose, let me out. Let, let me, me out. out. Yeah. Let me out. Yeah. Let me out. Yeah. Let me out. Like you can hear how many there are in the ending. It's very good. He's a very talented young man, this, this William Corgan. Difficult, but you know. It's, uh, it's not easy to, to not be when you're a guy like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> Outrageous. What a great fucking, what a great jam. Well done. Well done, lads and lass. Even though she was in the bathroom the whole time. All right, I'll be back here tomorrow night. No idea what we're going to do. Maybe we'll do some Metallica Mondays tomorrow. We haven't done Metallica Monday in a while. Maybe we should do some uh, mandatory Metallica Monday. Find something else that we haven't done here on the old, uh, on the old Twitch verge. Some stereo Metallica is always fucking fun. You know what I'm saying? It's always fun. Some Cliff Burton era, of course. Uh, so I will see you back here tomorrow evening. Please, uh, you know, if you feel like donating to the cause, you can do so at the session website. There's a PayPal button there. You can do it through the Venmo, which is Britdick, B-R-I-T-D-I-C-K. Or you can subscribe to the channel by hitting that fucking subscribe button, wherever that is. But Jeff gets a bigger cut of the music, the, the money than I do. And, uh, of course, if you can't afford to, please don't concern yourself with, uh, you know, financially supporting the, uh, the show. Just do it with word of mouth. Tell your friends to come and hang out because it's lovely. Um, you're welcome, Mingo. And uh, I will uh, I'll see you all back here tomorrow night. Be nice to each other. Be uh, kind to yourselves. Uh, follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's Christian James Hand. You have to enter the whole thing in because I've been shadow banned uh, due to uh, copyright infringement. <laughs> what a surprise. What a surprise. Uh, so I will, uh, I'll see you all back here uh, tomorrow night for some of that. All right? Peace out, y'all. Let's... Let's listen to James Eha again, you know? Don't forget, uh, live, love, laugh, hashtag goop, fuck cancer, and uh, say a silent prayer for my, uh, my buddy Jeff. And uh, of course, uh, as always, live, love, laugh, hashtag goop, hashtag fuck Nazis. Seems to be a lot of it going around. Don't know which way to go Don't know where you've been You got close to the sun And everything begins to spin around you Looking back on yesteryear You see every steeple pine Every loss and every hope Every thought magnified And you, you need You long to be Sleep Dream tonight Everything within you begins to breathe Tell me please Burn to bright You're drifting out of sight Rushing headlong down to the great unknown I see a face coming through I know you'll make it soon Shadows running down the hall But we could run right through a wall I feel a chill in the air The moon and rain don't compare to you You'll see You're almost free Thank you.